I got an announcement. Today, my nephew is officially a man. The Tender Bar is a movie about finding love, acceptance, and a role model as a father uh, in an unlikely place, which is a neighborhood bar. JR is on his journey to really discovering himself and becoming a man. This is a film that is about looking for something that you always had and not really knowing it until you get out. I live without a father. JR is grappling with that, and we see that when he's a boy. You think your father is in the radio? Love will find a way. He's just a drunk. Who happens to be on the radio. I think the Dickens is almost a place where he can find himself and other people. I want to back up Bobo. <laughs> Bobo, you're backed up on the kid. This kid's all right. I have to move back home because I've run out of other options. We're moving in with the grandpa, the grandma. The son and two daughters and their kids, they got no other place to go because none of them seem to earn a consistent living. And Uncle Charlie. And I look up to the uncle. See how he's putting his money in his pocket like that? Yeah. Never do that. They have a bit of a father-son dynamic. Uncle Charlie recognizes that the child needs an adult man in his life to show him how he can fit into the world. What does it mean to be a boy? What does it mean to be a man? What is expected of me? Everybody wants to have an Uncle Charlie. The boy won't tell me what his name stands for. It doesn't stand for anything. His name is JR. Deal with it. Oh, I knew it. I think there's tremendous comfort for mom in the relationship between Charlie and JR. It feels like everything she does sort of fails. But the thing that's beautiful about it is she never gives up her optimism. She wants him to have opportunities. She wants him to have all the things that, that she didn't have. I swear to God, I have no idea how you are going to Harvard or Yale. JR is definitely carrying the burden of mother's, you know, hopes of what he, he'll become. Jeez, mom. What? It's okay, I don't mm. have lipstick. And all he really wants is to be a writer. I think that he's genuinely talented at writing. Prodigy, the kid. When'd you learn that word? And when he tells him, you're a good writer and you can do this, he really believed him. You read all of those. Maybe you could become a writer. Yeah, this isn't home. <sighs> yeah, it is. No. No, it's not. There's something so profound about how these relationships ultimately are the ones who point us in whatever direction we go on. You mind if your mama believes in you? I mean, I think everybody was a kid that always feels like they had to find their way. Uh, I have yet to prove myself, and I have great doubts about whether I ultimately can or not. The thing that this movie speaks to that I think is a real fundamental truth is there's nothing more important than feeling loved and having someone in your corner. Maybe this is the point where you tell me something really important. Yeah. It's sort of that multi-generational thing, whether you're a kid uh, or you're a parent or you're a grandparent. You know, there really is a story there for everybody, I think. I'm really excited for audiences to see this movie because I think it's uplifting. It's not dishonest, it's not cheesy, it's not cheap. It's beautiful storytelling about what's good about people. Two rules, I'm never gonna let you win, ever. And I'm gonna always tell you the truth. It was sweet and it was gentle and tender and kind. And because of it, it felt like it was a really good time to tell that story.